Hi Libra, welcome back to Omkara Tarot and to your love read. Let's see Libra, how you're feeling, how your person is feeling and what uh, action we can expect in this connection. And of course uh, Libra, these are general collective readings, will not resonate with all of you. Please keep that in mind, take what works for you and leave the rest. So let's begin. My angel spirit guides, please bless this reading for Libra and send them the messages they need to hear the most for their love life. Thank you. All right, Libra, let's start your reading. Welcome back, all my subscribers. Thank you, thank you for being here. And Libra, if you're new here, we welcome you as well. Do join us, subscribe to the channel, become part of us. We welcome you in. So, Libra, somebody wants to know the truth. Okay, let me not start talking right away. I am, okay. Um, uh, newcomers, I'm going to set down two sets of cards here one side will be for you one side will be for your partner and uh, of course you'll know which side you're on right if this is your story for me one second this is going to be person a and this is going to be person b bottom of my deck i have the king of pentacles my god somebody now wants to come forward it seems they really want to come forward and uh, well present themselves as uh, the perfect partner or the forever person somebody who's ready to take responsibility let's see okay uh, okay let me just take a look at the cards first okay so libra From what I'm seeing is somebody wants to reveal some truth. They are spying on the other person big time. I think they want to they want to reveal what they've kept secret for so long. The other person has kind of given up. They've kind of given up because they feel there is no commitment here or uh, my person refuses to change. They are not stepping up to the plate. I don't know what this is. I'm going to clarify all these cards but of course before that we're going to take some uh, dialogue message cards as always Libra let's see if you guys could say something to each other what that would be and then we'll do the clarification so Libra and their person spirit they could say something to each other now Libra and their person one more oops okay Libra and their person okay that was too many spirit I need one more Libra and their person Okay, I'm going to take a few more Libra from another deck and uh, if any of you are looking for personal readings, my email is in the description box below. You can reach me there. Libra and their person. Alright, good to go Libra. Let's start your reading. The first card here says, I have to improve myself and my life to feel worthy of you. I wasn't ready for our connection. Just give me a second. I think my battery is low. Uh, just, just hold on. Let me just pause the video. All right. So the next card says, I bury you with lies. I'm scared to tell you the truth. Maybe they weren't ready for the commitment as uh, the cards say. Maybe they weren't ready with their finances or ready to step up and uh, they kept lying. And when push came to shove, I think they decided, hey, I have to improve myself if I need my person. Sorry for what I've done to you. Karma is kicking my ass now. I'm angry with you, but really I'm angry at myself. Why did you choose them over me? Will you marry me? Somebody is ready now. Somebody is ready to come forward and maybe propose. Hoping that, you know, all this past baggage can be uh, dropped. And uh, I think they want to rebuild this connection. Rebuild, maybe really, you know, propose or something. They want to end, the, end this heartbreak which has come about. Oh God, I can go on and on. But let me get back to the reading. I'm just going through the deck. Okay, 
So Libra, I'm going to start uh, with an angel blessing card, of course. Let's see what my angels have for you as a blessing, guidance, advice or a message. Blessing, guidance, child. Somebody wants to start from scratch. Somebody, uh, this there's going to be a new beginning, uh, Ari, uh, sorry, Libra for you. There's going to be a new beginning for you, Libra, one way or the other. There is a brand new beginning coming. I don't know whether with this person or somebody else. It's like this child card is almost like having that childlike enthusiasm for life and, you know, going back to the playful ways instead of stressing and worrying and stressed out as I do see person B was in the recent past. Person B was stressed out and so was person A. Okay, so let's put this card here, Libra, and let's start your reading. Person A, let's start with the energy of person A, Libra. You could, of course, be either side. I'm just going to concentrate on one side and we'll move on to the other. So person A, what is this moon card in reverse? What's the moon card in reverse for you? Okay, one more. Okay, all right, got it. Uh, I think um, what they really want to express, they want to express something. They want to unveil a secret or something. That the reason why the stagnation came, why this person was so stubborn and not kind of giving in to the connection or something, they, I think, wanted to remain single. Somebody wanted to remain single because uh, they thought maybe commitment means arguments and fights and they didn't want to be any part of that they, they thought if I stubbornly hold on to my independence and just kind of have fun in my life go to you know go for the passion then I don't have to get involved in the emotional dramas of relationships and this maybe this person had some past uh, breakups or something so this, they were very adamant about that fact that's what I think they want to reveal that that's the reason I was being stubborn because uh, that's the reason I lied to you or I didn't commit to you because I just wanted to maintain my independence. So page of swords now spirit, page of swords, page of swords. They are scared to come forward though. They're very, very scared to come forward. They've now fallen in love. They've fallen in love. They know this is my two of cups. Now this person is very, very scared uh, because they know that uh, it's like a lightning bolt in their mind that, oh my God, this is the person. This is the person I should be with. This is my soulmate. I love this person. But they're so scared to come forward now that they've realized that this is the one that all they're doing is spying, watching, waiting, not having the capacity or the bravery I think to come forward and actually reveal what the truth is. So what happened uh, person A in the recent past that you are now going through all this? Person A says, what was this? Ah, okay. Okay, person A says, I know my partner wanted me to come forward. They, they wanted me to take take the reins of this connection, uh, move towards me, offer, oh, you know, they wanted uh, an offer of commitment. They wanted all that. But I was really in a dark place that time. I was going through the dark night of the soul. I didn't see this offer or I didn't acknowledge it or uh, I didn't even offer it because I myself was in a state which was like this. I was still healing. I was still getting out of my own darkness. So seven of cups in reverse. What happened? Person A then. Person A says, well, I, because I never offered this uh, commitment or this offer for, to start again or start new or uh, any kind of, you know, commitment. My person made a decision. They got out of the, all this confusion I had put them in. They just ran away, Omkara Taro. They just left me and ran away. They to, there's total stagnation in our connection at the moment. And uh, well, now I realize I lost a star. My brightest star in the sky was this person, person B. They just escaped this connection. 
I was trying to keep them confused. I was trying to keep them as an option, maybe, maybe later or whatever. But instead of that, they made a decision for themselves and they just escaped me. So how do you feel now then, person A? Person A says, I'm back going through my dark night of the soul. This is the same card that was there earlier, right? So th this, this is what they were healing from in the past when they, they were offered. Now they, they say, I'm back, I'm back. I'm all the ten swords are back in my back. I'm feeling devastated. I'm now at limbo once again because I don't know what to do. So what's this ten of swords? What's this ten of swords, person A? Why do you feel this way? Ten of swords. Ten of swords. Okay, one more. Okay, person A says, the reason I'm feeling so devastated now, I feel this connection has totally ended. Why? Because my partner is no longer fighting for this connection, Omkara Taro. Earlier they were doing all the work, they were doing all the heavy lifting, but now they seem to have totally given up. They seem to have made a total decision. They're not waiting around for me. And uh, that, really, that really puts me under a lot of stress because now I feel... I'll have to take that burden. I'll have to do something really, really massive to get forgiveness now. I know I need to ask for forgiveness and that really overwhelms me. How do I go back and explain now, reveal what, what all I've done in the past to them, why I did it, what I was going through. So that's the reason I'm still kind of standing here and thinking, spying on them, wondering, how to go about this? Two of Wands. Two of Wands. What are you thinking, person A? Okay, one more. One more. One more. Okay, so <laughs> the thinking about how to return spirits is. They, what they're doing is right now they're st standing at standstill maybe, spying, watching. They are wondering how they can make this return because they feel that person maybe is at a distance now or has sailed off to find happiness and peace in their own life. They see their person looking good and having a lot of good fortune in their life, totally turn their back to the, towards them and looking very upset looking really upset so that's the reason this person is scared at the moment this person just doesn't know how to make this work now because they see that things have changed this person has changed they're no longer giving them love or affection or um, you know trying to make up or fight for this connection so that's the reason and now they know the only way they can probably try is um, well they're burdened by the, this fact that they have to now come and apologize Maybe this person has never apologized in their life to anyone, not with that sincerity. So what action they will finally take, I'll open later Libra. Let's go on to the other side and see how person B is doing. Person B, you have the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Why is that? Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Ah, Person says, well, to be very honest, I really saw a future. I really saw that we could have emotional happiness and grow old together. But you know, Omkara Taro, they never offered me that commitment. They juggled me. They made me feel I was just an option. They never brought balance and happiness into my life, our life. And uh, this up and down, wondering what, this, that and the other, that didn't really work for me. So death in reverse then, person B. Yeah, person B says they refuse to change. All they did was behave like a player. In and out behavior, unwise decisions. I just got out of I just got out of it because if you know all all you're going to do is, you know, behave like a playboy or a player and come to me with passion and nothing else and no commitment and you're never going to change. Then what am I sitting around waiting for you for? So what happened in the recent past, uh, person B, that you made such a decision? Queen of Pentacles in reverse, same card. I mean, person A is very intuitive, I think they know. Uh, person A had this card, right? They, uh, they assume that person B is 
not ready for them anymore. Person B has the same card. Yes, this happened. They never offered me any commitment. They disrespected me. Then person B says, I was expecting a, a match. I thought we were the perfect match, Queen of Pentacles to the Queen, uh, Queen of Pentacles. But as much as I admired them, I respected them, I saw them as my King of Pentacles, I was put down. I was disrespected. They never saw me as their Queen of Pentacles. They didn't honor me as the Queen of Pentacles. That left me in all the stress. I felt I was alone in this connection. All I did was be alone and think and rethink and feel trapped in my own mind. It was like being uh, alone and lonely in a relationship. So, Eight of Swords, Person B. One more. Yeah, person B says, I got frustrated. I got really upset. I got really angry. I stopped trusting them and I started to manifest for my own self. I manifested a rebirth of my own life. And now, you know what? I've suddenly got so many options in my life that I'm not even looking back. I've gotten myself out of, you know, that think tank that I had put myself, drowned myself in. And uh, well, now I'm fine. I'm looking at other options. I'm, uh, I've got a brand new life ahead of me. I've become the magician of my own life. And this person I don't trust at all. At all, at all. So, how do you see person A now, uh, person B? How do you see them? How do you see the connection? Judgment in reverse and the Hierophant in reverse. I don't think person B wants to give us have a second chance here. I'll be honest. Judgment in reverse. Yeah, because person A says, you know those swords that they had put around me, the ones that I was always trapped in, they kept me confused, they kept me guessing. I removed all those swords from my life, Omkara Taro, that blindfold is off. The rose-colored glasses or the blindfold in the card, it is dropped off. And then, yeah, uh, person B is saying, I'm very, very happy in my own life right now, manifesting whatever I want. Yes, I'm the Empress, but for them, I'm the Empress in reverse. Now, the Empress in reverse basically means that somebody doesn't want to have further growth or abundance or fertility or uh, forward movement of happiness with, with a particular person or a thing. So, yeah, person B says, I no longer want to be their Empress. Hierophant in reverse. Hierophant in reverse. No commitment means, person B is saying, no commitment means I'm not giving you my love anymore. No more. You drained me out. I offered you this beautiful cup of love. This cup was offered and they took the cup and they drained it out. Totally. I'm depleted where this person is concerned. I don't have anything left to give them. Oof, this is a heavy one. Okay, so now let's see what actions you guys will take towards each other because now person A seems to be ready. They are ready to become that uh, king of pentacles which maybe person B always wanted them to be. So I'm going to take a separate deck for this one Libra and uh, of course now I'm going to request you please click that like button. It really helps the videos to circulate and of course makes me really really happy to know how many of you are interacting with and um, newcomers when you do subscribe don't forget to hit that notification bell that way youtube can then notify you when new videos are, are released thank you so much okay so person a since you are now ready but scared and spying and you want your two of cups with person b what action are you going to take Empress upright. <laughs> they see person B as their empress. They want all that person B doesn't want to give them is what they want. Person B says no further growth. They want further growth. They want this. They want this person very badly. They see uh, person B as the queen above all queens now. Nobody matches. 
so okay you see them like that okay so do you want to what what do you what, like what is the action you're going to take towards it person is action towards this oh one more One more. I'm sorry, I'm deep in thought right now. King of Pentacles again. I don't know. I don't know. I think person A is kind of still very scared. Uh, they may be coming towards person B, but they are they are coming really slow because they're really, really, really scared. And the reason they are spying here, uh, Libra, person A thinks that they are going to now have to deal with a lot of people vying for this empress's attention. There will be a lot of competition by now. It's almost like saying, you know, you were ahead of, uh, mm, you know, a line and then uh, you ran away because you got scared and then you changed your mind and now the line is really long. So you have to go and fight for your space, your spot again. Uh, they, they, they do see person B as an equal match though. King of Pentacles again to the Queen of Pentacles, both upright, looking at you, and you know, um, this is what person A wants. This is what they want. They want to just end this conflict now. They want to sail away with this Queen of Pentacles to find peace and harmony. But the, they are they almost like crawling because of fear. So, will what does that mean for you, person A? You have all the perfect cards where's your action how are you going to achieve this peace and harmony with your queen of pentacles what action are you intending to take apart from spying that's the, oh yeah they um, don't tell me you're going to wish for it they do see person b as their happiness they do want to have victory. I think what the what person A really wants is to offer a brand new start. Like kind of let's just let's just erase the past. Can we just start from scratch? And that's why the child card was here as well. This is the fool, which is like a brand new beginning. They want to offer that. That's what they want. But I still don't. I see very slow movement because of fear. And they're spying to figure out whether, you know, there is competition. And till they don't figure that out, this person is very scared. Uh, if you wait that long, there will be more competition. I'm telling you, person A, person B is the empress. I mean, that's like uh, total attraction mode. Okay, person B, come on. Uh, action from your end towards person A or otherwise. Nine of Cups, person B says, I am very happy in my own life, Omkara Taro. All my wishes have come true. I am riding on a wave right now. Yes, if they see me as victorious, they see me as having a fresh new beginning. If they see me as having lots of options and lots of attention coming towards me, please tell them that's all true. So, what action do you intend to take, person B? What action do you intend to take? With the Nine of Cups energy, what in okay? <laughs> okay, give me one more. Give me one more. This is interesting. Oh, my God. What's happening with person B? Who are you person B? Tell me in the comments. I, is person B Libra or? Person B is very confused right now. They don't want to make up their mind about anything because it seems to me they are kind of in shock at the moment. They're kind of, kind of going through a sudden change in their life where 
coming from the ten of wands, you know, when nothing was working, they felt like um, burdened and, you know, having to leave a situation. Person B is going through a tremendous change where they have multiple people approaching them. An emperor, a knight of cups, six of cups, maybe some this person from the past, they're all going to come back together and I have a feeling person B is going to shock the hell out of everybody by saying, uh-uh, I'm going to, I'm going to think about it. I'm not making any decision because I am very happy in my own life. Give me one more. This is really interesting. Person B, action from your end. What is this tower? What is this tower? The wheel. The, okay, sorry. The world. The world. Okay, so person B is uh, riding a wave. Like I said, they are feeling like on the top of the world. I, they have a lot of attention coming towards them. So then what, what is this two of swords then, person B? What's this two of swords? Two of swords. It's almost like person B is kind of um, refusing to make any decision on any of the suitors coming towards them. They don't want to go through an another tower moment maybe. They have a lot of attention that much I can I can see clearly. I've never seen so many people. The Emperor, Knight of Cups and uh, the Six of Cups. Wow. One more. What's Ah, see, this person has gone into self-protection mode. They're very happy in their own life. Very, very happy in their own life. This person is guarding that. They're guarding this um, uh, beautiful place that they've come to. Maybe they're feeling very balanced in their finances or their life or something like that. And they're looking for a partner to prove to them that now it's going to be an equal give and take or nothing at all. Otherwise, they're very, very happy in their own life. All right, so well, this person B is going to be like going, wow, what do I choose now? Let me not choose anything. Prove yourself. Okay, so that's all I have for you, Libra. Till next time then, love and light. Take care. Namaste.